Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Edwige and my channel is Edwige Alamode. You guys already know that I love fashion, beauty and lifestyle. So if you love that too, then make sure you stick around. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And also if you are already subscribed, turn on your notification bell so this way you never miss a post. Today's video is all about my sunglasses collection. Um, I don't have a huge collection of sunglasses but I think it's a reasonable size and I thought why not share a V today as the weather is amazing in London right now it's mid-May the Sun is shining so I thought why not show you guys my collection if you watched my last video my haul you will see that I am slightly obsessed with sunglasses I literally love styling everything with sunglasses in the summer I just think they add a really nice finish to any outfit it just adds a you know that oomph and edge to any outfit so when selecting sunglasses you really need to consider the shape of your face so I have a heart shape but slightly round at the same time so um, the one the sunglasses that suit me best are cat eyes and also um, anything that's just kind of like wide and um, and round I think it's important to know what kind of styles that suit you best so that you always look nice and not look weird you know so the first pair that I'm going to start with is my absolute favourite one. Um, these are the Celine Shadow Sunglasses and um, I just, they have like the tortoise shell at the bottom here. The lenses are like a dark, it's like a dark brown and then it transitions to like a, um, a grey colour which is quite cute. I really love this. I, I remember I first saw these on Kim Kardashian and like I was like oh those are nice what are those and I remember um, like all the influences had it all the it girls had it and I was like oh my god I need to get those glasses um at first I thought they were too big for me but then I just fell in love with it I remember um, my little sister Dorcas took me out for my birthday and after that we were like oh let's go to Selfridges and then we went into Selfridges and I was like and I saw these every time I wanted these they were out of stock so that day we went into Selfridges and I saw these and I was like Dorky I have to get them so Dorky I blame you <laughs> I blame you for taking me Selfridges that day <laughs> yes yeah, so I love these and ever since then I wear it all the time this is like my don't talk to me like I'm bougie sort of sunglasses I'll try it on for you guys but I love, love, love these. And it's super easy, super lightweight. And I think these were probably 270. I'll have all the details on the screen for your reference. The next sunglasses I'm gonna show you are my Balenciagas. I love, love, love these. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're a cut eye, which I think suits me best. Um, they're very small, quite dusty. I haven't actually cleaned any of my sunglasses because I haven't worn them in so long, but I'll show you what they look like. This is what it looks like. And it had the Balenciaga written right there on the arm, which I think is really cool. Um, again, very, very nice. Um, they're very dainty, which I love about it, and very ladylike. And these really um, just helps to elevate any of my outfits, and I love that. And I love that the lenses are black, but then it transitions to like a, a dark brown, and then it's kind of um, see-through here, which has a great effect. And I really like that, because I think it adds a very expensive and just luxurious feel. And it has a very nice shine to it, which um, again, makes it look very expensive. I love that the arms are quite slim and sleek. Um, so yeah, this is very feminine. Cut eyes are very feminine. And I love that the cut eye kind of goes up rather than out. Um, so I'll try it on for you guys. The next one I'm going to show you is my absolutely favourite one. When I tell you, I love this Miu Miu number. Guys, this is my favourite sunglasses. Oh. It's so vintage. I love the silhouette. It's almost a cut eye, but I just, I don't know. It's really unusual, but it's super retro and I love it. And it goes with everything. I love, love. I love that it has the pads here around the nose, um, which really, you know, helps it to sit on my nose correctly. So this doesn't actually move when I'm like on the, on the go. I bring this on every holiday that I go to, like every holiday 
birthday that I go to, I bring these with me because they're just so comfortable, you know? They're super comfortable, super chilled. Like, I find with my glasses, I have to baby them a lot because they're relatively quite expensive. Like, it's just so out of this world and I love, love, love everything about this glasses. Um, Colours like this, like Total Shell, your dark browns really go well with like neutrals for the summer. This just balances it off so well. Um, I'll try it on for you guys. There we go. What do you guys think? I, it's like I loved the previous one so much. I saw the cut off version and I was just like, whoa what's going on here this is everything and the sunglasses in question is actually the Mew Mew cutoffs they're more in like a round oh my god I'm so embarrassed that you can see the dirt on my sunglasses <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to clean them but these are like the round silhouettes and um, it has like a very thick um, arms in comparison to the last one that I showed you like that very sleek um, I'll show I'll try and pop up pictures of me wearing them as well but guys I love love it. every time I wear this I feel like a diva I feel like a diva I feel like no one can tell me nothing yeah this is that sunglasses love love this this is this sunglasses for me is everything and it's comfortable you know I love it let me try it on for you guys it even goes really well with my outfit what do you guys think I, I, I think if i had to select a pair of sunglasses to take away with me this would be it this would be the sunglasses that i take everywhere with me like and i really think Mew Mew need to bring out more styles like this this for me is a typical Mew Mew sunglasses it's a statement sunglasses and it just makes and elevates any outfit it adds a really nice edge love so my next ones that i'm going to show you is the Tom Ford and I think these are in the Julia again total shell I love total shell sunglasses actually, these were a gift actually I bought them in Paris um I think I went to Galerie Lafayette and I saw these and I was like oh yeah. my god I think it really complements dark skin um and every other skin as well but in particular I love it against my skin I think it's beautiful um this one for me screams a rich babe like whenever I wear this I feel like I'm on top of the world I feel like an it gal it just has a really nice shine to it I'm um, almost glossy you know it has the tome the tome it has the tom ford temple on the arm like that which i think is really nice and sleek as well um very modern very dainty in comparison to my mimi ones and then my next one is actually my specs um these are actually from the opticians and you guys if you've ever come across me and i've not said hello to you don't take it personal it's just that i actually have not seen you because i'm quite blind i can't see from far guys um so i actually wear glasses so these are my prada ones again apologies for the dirty lens which is so embarrassing but this is what they look like and these were actually um prescriptive to me by the opticians um i love 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 obviously i picked it out myself but i love these again it's very sleek it's a cut eye um again because i think that suits me best it's nice and dainty very small and just easy um you know we still want to be able to read and see and still look gorgeous so that's the vibe i just feel so geeky when i wear this and put together but still you know still cute so this one this this is that for me I feel like a supply teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was my specs. So now we're over to Prada. So this was my first ever sunglasses, designer sunglasses. I remember this was so, I forgot what these are called. Are they called Baroques? Barek? I can't remember, but yeah, it starts with a B. Um, love these. Again, they're round, they're told to shells, which is like a dark brown and a mixture of black. Um, love, love the detailing on the arms like that. This is what actually made me buy these. Um, it's funny actually because these are kind of known as like the Congolese auntie sunglasses because <laughs> they rinsed it out 
I think every Congolese auntie had these um, but yeah I love love these I think my sister bought them first actually so I would kind of like borrow hers here and there until she had enough of me I was like just leave my stuff alone uh, <laughs> I thought no it's time I love it so much it's time that I buy my own so I went and I purchased this from Selfridges and um, I love this it's round and the lenses are dark like a dark brown which is really nice I feel like all my other sunglasses do come across quite see-through so it's kind of nice to have a balance and transition and I think um I think every woman should have a round sunglasses in their collection it doesn't have to be designer because I will show you some of the um, high street ones that I have and dupes as well if you like which are very good quality so yeah let me try these on for you oh this one again is just simply wow like wow <laughs> this one is beautiful i love it it's sleek it's feminine um slightly oversized and i love that it's so round that it covers my cheeks i have big and high cheeks as well so it's kind of nice for that to be covered under there and it, my next one that i'm going to show you is another prada number um i'm not sure what these are called i think these go by numbers actually uh, i don't think prada actually has names for their sunglasses this is the spr 16r um so i love how sleek and feminine but almost edgy this sunglasses is I love that it has a nice shine to it I love how sleek it is it's very um, almost dainty and just it, this is this for me it's just fabulous I love these sunglasses they're slightly oversized I love the shape I love the lens it's um it's like a dark it looks brown on screen but in person it's like a dark a light black color and then it transitions to like a light gray which then appears at see-through and I love this look on sunglasses I just think that it looks very expensive I think it looks very chic and yeah this for me is like I'm going to get my hair done I'm going to get my nails done and I need to I need to hide my face <laughs> I don't want no one to see me I mean, um, so these are those kind of sunglasses for me when I'm going shopping and like whenever I wear this I just feel fabulous and um, yeah. I love this have I tried it on for you I don't even know let me try it on for you there we go love love this sunglasses I think it um, I've also forgot to mention that a uh, majority of my sunglasses do have 100% UV protection so which is really good for, for protecting your eyes under the sun um, the same way we apply SPF um, sunglasses do that for your eyes so I think it's important to invest in sunglasses that also have a very good UV protection so that you don't damage your eyes and my next one that I'm going to show you are this um, YSL number this is um, Yves Saint Laurent again it's a round tortoise shell um kind of um style in the havana style you guys already know that i love this the, this is probably my favorite sunglasses type um the frame is very interesting it's round i love the arms is quite sleek um but you know thick enough it's got the the Celoha logo on the right hand side there uh, on both sides rather a lens on this one it's almost like a dark green it's a mixture of brown and green which is quite unusual but again i like it it's quite oversized i love oversized sunglasses guys i just think it just it just adds a really nice element to any outfit you know and um and i think it suits my face better although i'm quite petite i just i love big things guys i really do <laughs> love this i'm gonna try it on for you guys Again, this is almost by the contact, you know, no contact. I mind my own business. I'm doing me uh, in my own lane. And just, you again, know. it looks very expensive, very sleek. And I think I that's all my designer sunglasses, actually. So now we're going to move on to like dupes and high street. So these are my latest purchase these remind me of the Gucci sunglasses with the GG's on the side and I wasn't sure how I if I liked it that much because they're extremely oversized and um, so I wanted to try the fashion for less so I bought these from Amazon actually I'll leave the link for you I think a lot of you were asking where this is from everyone thinks it's Gucci but it really isn't um, this cost me 12 pounds guys I love how just big it is I love that the lenses are like a, as you can see that's perfect actually it's like a dark brown but almost like a maroony um, and then it goes into like a clear grey colour which I think adds a really nice contrast and transition 
so I'm gonna try it on for you and the thing is although it's so chunky it's actually not heavy at all like my face doesn't feel heavy like I don't really have much of a bridge on my nose I have a small nose so it's quite hard to get sunglasses to sit there but all my sunglasses sit on my nose absolutely fine um, including this one this for me it's just bougie just, it's chic it's sleek but it's definitely quite bougie at the same time and i love love this um it definitely looks very expensive although it's not it cost me 12 pounds so it's an illusion and i think with fashion you really have to create an illusion um and i think that's what really makes an outfit stand out and you guys will see that a lot of my outfits are quite simple simplistic and elegant within its own right but very simple um it's my accessories that really add a nice touch so that's why i really love bags and that i really love um you know um sunglasses and i love rings and i think you know um bracelets i'm really into that kind of stuff because i think it adds a really nice sleek and just edge to an outfit you know um, but, and i think a few of you were asking in my last video where this is from this this is so it looks so designer but it's super retro it's like an orangey dark brown color which i think it's just so special um again it's quite vintage as yeah, well i just love the square frame it's quite chunky at the same time it's quite sleek and uh, i think this color looks really nice with again your neutrals your whites your browns in the summer i think it just looks absolutely expensive um and the next one I'm going to show you is this H&M number, which is again round sunglasses, um, very boho, and it just adds a very sleek um, sort of feminine touch. Again, with a very thin arms like my Miu Miu ones, which I think is really really cute. And um, it has the pads on the nose, which is nice for like sweaty days. You know. So always bear that in mind. And glass glasses like this with the pads are really good for hot uh, weather. When traveling, I tend to bring things like this as well because then I just don't care about it. If I sit on it, I sit on it. If I, you, do you know what I mean? If it breaks, it breaks. I can just replace it. Where with my other ones. My my designer ones I feel like I have to baby them so much these these are the only white pairs that I have in my collection these were actually from an Instagram brand and I think I won them as part of a competition but um yeah I love it again it's enough it's quite cut eye shape um, um but the lens is like a dark uh, it's, it's a black and then dark brown um again it transitions to like a great color here at the bottom again you guys know that I love that effect um, I think it looks really really good I love it the only thing with these glasses is that um as I wear them, everything just becomes very dark, you know, um, and very, very black. And it's quite disturbing, you know. Um, so if you were driving, I'll probably say don't wear these and don't wear these because you need something that's quite neutral um, to be able to drive properly and not to um, disturb your vision. So yeah, but apart from that, I think these are gorgeous. I love, love it. Then the next one I have are the Aviator Style. These are actually from Primark. Um, they're very colorful, like a rainbow sort of thing. I love, love these. And I think I bought like so many of these back in the day. I'm not sure what happened to them, but these are super lightweight, um, super easy and just breezy. They go with everything. Again, Aviator Style. Um, it's got like a very thin um, arms. And yeah, not really much to say, apart from they're very comfortable and they go well with everything. Thing. um especially with like an all black outfit or even like blue like this i think it adds a really nice contrast to like a light blue like this they're they're like a, a dupe of the dior mirrored sunglasses these are from like Aldo and um, I bought these I think for like £10 years ago guys a very long time ago probably I've had these for like three years and again very sleek very retro trendy yeah I bought these on holiday with me and yeah they're super fun I love the gold detailing um, the hardware is gold which has a very nice expensive sort of look and I think it's cute I I actually do want to buy the Dior ones because I love these so much. And, I've, and then we move on to this one. This is actually from uh, Nastigal or Miss Pap. One of them, I'm not quite sure. If not, then ASOS. It doesn't really, it doesn't say. But um, I love these. And I think these I got for like £2.50 on the sale. I love, love these. This reminds me of like Matrix for some reason. And I love it. Um, it's very dark um, and it's all black. 
and yeah it's just i think it adds a very nice edge and sleek to it's almost like a cut eye um sort of um frame very thin and i love that you can still see my eyes when i'm looking at you which is really nice um so yeah this is that we move over to my last pair which i got from aldo no from tk maxx but they're from aldo i love 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 this it's another cut eye but this is like exaggerated cut eye which i love um i think these were like 10 pounds there we go guys i wore these in my last zara haul again it's very dark very sleek at the same time but it's just very edgy and i love that about this sunglasses so yeah so guys that was my sunglasses um collection let me know which one is your favorite and also let me know what i need to buy if i don't have it ready in my collection or what i should go and try um and what's your favorite sunglasses for the summer what's your signature sunglasses these because are my signature sunglasses celine shadow and the Miu Miu cutoffs right so that was everything for me guys i'll see you in my next video take care bye